Hi there! Last time we've discussed passive voice, which is used when the main focus is shifted to action and its performer is not so important to be mentioned. These shots of a foundry. It would seem that if you touched any of that stuff with your hands, you'd be horribly, horribly burned. But maybe not so. See, there's a myth going around that if you take pure lead and you melt it, that you can dip your hand in it and not be burnt or horribly injured. I know. The trick is supposed to be that you wet your hand before doing it, and it exploits what's known as the Leidenfrost effect. Today, we're going to talk about impersonal passive, a construction that is used when the performer is unknown. Moreover, he or she cannot be known. For example, it is sad. It is rumored. Who gossips? We don't know, and it doesn't matter. Impersonal passive is used when discussing common gossips and beliefs spread in society. For example, it is said that super glue can stick anything anywhere, even furniture to the ceiling. Therefore, impersonal passive is most often formed from verbs that serve to express thoughts, beliefs, expectations, such as agree, allege, announce, assume, believe, claim, consider. Just try. You can form an impersonal passive voice with any of these verbs. For instance, it is agreed that, it is believed that. In addition, such a construction can be reformulated by placing the subject of a contract sentence in place of the first subject. Let's return to our previous example. It is said that superglue can stick anything anywhere. Or, superglue is said to be able to stick anything anywhere. Pay attention! The predicate in the subordinate clause of the first sentence becomes infinitive in the second one. It is expected that the new iPhone will cost $1,000. The new iPhone is expected to cost $1,000. Next time you meet impersonal passive in a sentence, try to transform its structure from one type to another, just for practice. Hopefully, such an easy exercise will dispel the myth that passive voice is difficult to be used properly.